just love that song, and it's so catchy. There's actually, look at this, I even remember the lyrics, because there's a part of the song where the, where, uh, the singer, Natasha Owens, says, I know it, you know it, everyone knows it, Trump won. And that's my favorite catchy kind of jingle in that song. It's just fabulous, and it takes a lot of guts to come out with a song like that, even in country music. Doesn't matter if you're in Nashville or where you are. Uh, even among country music fans, it's very controversial, and that's okay. Uh, I was on uh, a couple of TV interviews this week, and they introduced me as controversial radio and TV host Wayne Alaroot. That's like my new middle name, controversial. So I like controversial people. We've got Natasha Owens with us, who's a recording artist, and it's her new hit single, Trump One, that you just listened to. Her website is Natasha owensmusic.com natasha owensmusic.com hey natasha trump won hey you know it i know it everyone knows it everybody knows trump won it's great stuff so how did first of all before i even look at the questions how did this come about who, who came up with this idea who wrote this song did you write it and and what made you grab it and say i want to be the one who sings it I'm a co-writer on it. My husband had this idea two years ago, and I said, you know, we all know it. This has been a saying that we've said around our house for the past two and a half years. I know it, you know it, we know it, they know it, everybody knows Trump won. And so when 2000 Mules came out and the facts started pouring out, I thought on this, I thought, you know what, this is a foundation of truth that I can stand on, and I want to give a voice to people who feel like they can't speak it. So we decided to come out with Trump won. It should be the official song of my show from now on, okay? Because that's what I've been singing for two years, but I don't sing it. I don't have a singing voice, but I kind of shouted on TV from the highest mountaintops. Of course, Trump won. They had mail-in ballots and no voter ID and ballot drop boxes and ballot harvesting and five states coordinated at the same time in a conspiracy to say there's no vote counting. And in the morning, they said, oh, yeah, we did count and Trump lost. It's so obvious. It's so ridiculous. Have you gotten a lot of, I, I know you've gotten that's a good feedback, but have you gotten any hate mail, death threats, negative feedback? Have people said, are you crazy? What, what kind of response you get? You know, I'm in the contemporary Christian world and I'm not used to putting out a controversial song. So this is the only one, first one on YouTube that's had all five stars and all one stars. People either really love it or they really hate it. There is <laughs> nothing in between. And so we've gotten more good feedback than bad. We've had a few deliveries to my house that wasn't quite nice. And one, one guy on our team had a mortar shell uh, explode outside his house just two days ago. What? So we definitely stirred yeah. up the, the bee's nest a little bit. Welcome to my world. Welcome to Wayne's world. <laughs> if you go look at my books online, I have 16 books, and it's uh, either a five-star or a one-star, but you look at the one-stars, they never even bother reading it. The five-stars on Amazon are people that have read the book. The one-stars are liberals who've been triggered by Trump derangement syndrome or root derangement syndrome. Now we've got Natasha Owens derangement syndrome. We could add a third one. I'm, so um, let's tell everyone how it did. It, it is. It is. Let's tell everyone how it did, because it rocketed to number one on the iTunes chart, and the music video has so far garnered over two million views and counting. Have I missed any accolades? What, what kind of things have actually happened since yeah. we did our research? A lot of traction has happened just in the past week. We're about to put out a new press release. We've had over 55 million views on the video. The song went to number one on wow. iTunes, which contemporary Christian artist has never been able to achieve yet. And it, it is still charting fourth week in a row on Billboard. Not only did I chart in the pop charts, the overall iTunes and Billboard charts, but the country genre as well. So they're saying that I am the, the new Lee Greenwood, that no one's ever been able to do what he did until me. So I take that as a badge of honor as well. I love it. And you're much more beautiful than Lee Greenwood. That's good, too. Oh. So, <laughs> so tell me about your back. <laughs> tell me about your background, Natasha. Uh, you know, where do you come from? How long you've been in this business? And and have you had some really big hits in the past? Because I don't even know that much about country music. I'm kind of a rock and roll guy. So educate me about yourself. 
Well, I'm in the contemporary Christian genre. I'm a Tennessee girl that got to Texas when I was 14. And so now I consider myself a Texan. My story professionally started 10 years ago. Well, 13 years ago, my dad was cleaning his guns. A bullet was in the chamber, went off and hit him in the heart. And I downspouted into depression. Uh. And it was music and God that pulled me out. I wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for God. And so it, that was a training ground for what I'm doing now. I have uh, six albums out, four in contemporary Christian. Last year, we veered out of Christian genre and decided to do a patriotic album, which Nashville has frowned upon. And I don't really, I don't think I have a really a home to go back to uh, because I've put out several controversial songs lately. Uh, but I am a uh, award winner in the contemporary Christian market. But I just, unfortunately, I don't see any more awards coming to me for as a Grammy or a Dove Award uh, in, in that genre of music. But that's OK. I've got pop and country now that I've veered into. So we'll see what they what they can do with me. So is, is this your biggest hit ever, all things considered? Yes. Uh, biggest hit, con considering I'm a contemporary Christian uh, singer, I've made it to the top of the charts in that genre, but not to all of iTunes and not to all of Billboard. So this has definitely been the biggest hit that I've ever had. All right. So tell us about, you know, Nashville, because you got me wondering. I was uh, pride myself that whatever people are thinking at home, I, I kind of got my pulse on what people are thinking. And I'm sitting here going, is it country music? The audience is all conservative. But the people who run it, like every other industry, Hollywood, Silicon Valley, the court system, the education system, the media, social media, everybody's liberal who runs Nashville. Is that the deal? Even though the audience is all conservative, the people at the top hate what you just did. Is that right? That's right. You know, as of a couple of weeks wow. ago, I actually was just talking for Contemporary Christian because I made a comment a few months ago that um, kind of gave me a bad name in Christian. I said, Nashville is too woke for their audience. And it's true. Uh, in Contemporary Christian, they are one, one person on stage, a different person off the stage, especially with politics. Progressiveness has gone through the church. But I think everyone saw as of last week or the beginning of this week, what happened at the CMT Awards with uh, Kelsey Ballerini. It has definitely infiltrated the country music as well. Nashville is not only woke, but they're very anti-Trump. And so um, it, it's just a bad city wow. to be in, one that I don't want to live in for sure. Boy, they're, they're out of touch with their own audience. How sad is that? Well, look at what Budweiser did this week. They're all out of touch, all to cater to this right. uh, anti-Christian type movement that's happening. It's just it's an attack on Christianity, an attack on our identity. And, um, you know, we have to push back the, the, the pulpits and the Christians need to stand up and start talking because they are the ones that is causing think, this to happen with their silence. Do, do you think you've jeopardized your career at all? Or you think you boosted your career? What's the what's the takeaway from Trump one? which is a big hit. So I assume it's good, but I don't know. You tell me. Not in Nashville. I have definitely hurt my career, not only in Nashville, but in the contemporary wow. Christian world. And that's okay. I am standing on a foundation and a, and a platform of truth and trying to spread freedom and awareness of how great this country is. And if someone doesn't like me for that, then that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll make my own path. I'll blaze my own path and I'll make my own genre of music if I have to. I'm not worried about them anymore. I love it. You and I have a very similar path because you have a number one hit and I have a number one book out right now. Number one at Amazon, The Great Major. Patriot Boycott Book, which is about buying only from conservatives, patriots and Christians. So the next edition, I've got to add Natasha Owens to the book. Uh, we've got oh, all the great that. companies that are. Yeah. And so you should be added as a great performer that people should reward because you have courage and you did the right thing. And we really appreciate that, Natasha. Thank you for your courage. It's great. Thank you so much. And, and stay tuned. I've got more music coming out. The next one is the Second Amendment song that just states our second protects our first. So stay tuned to that. Uh, woman after my own heart. I love the Second Amendment. I love the First Amendment. They don't want us to be able to speak freely. They don't want dissent and they don't want guns so we can't protect ourselves. All right. Natasha Owens is the uh, singer and artist who has a huge number one hit, Trump won. Her website, NatashaOwensMusic.com. We appreciate you. We thank you. We celebrate you. And Natasha, say it with me. Trump won. Trump won. We love it. 
Have yourselves Thank a great you. weekend. Happy Easter. Me too. We'll be right back. Wayne Allyn with the final four and Root Madness.